All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to review the 60 day challenge Excel spreadsheet. As you see here, I created this back in 2015. Right here, um, I'm currently in status. Let me go ahead and clear that out. All right, I'm currently in the making of one. But we'll go ahead and clear that out so you can see a fresh one here. Now, what I have over here is simply a 60 day uh, straight to the money spreadsheet. Uh, follow it to the T 60 days, you'll end up with 25,000 no matter what you start with, as long as you follow the chart to the T. Now over here at the initial balance, I have it set at a thousand, but I recommend a minimum of at least $250. And that's uh, for advanced traders. Uh, the more you start with, the easier the journey is going to be. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that straight out. The more you're able to start with, the easier the journey is going to be. Now, that doesn't mean it's impossible. It just means it's going to be easier or, or harder depending on the equity you begin with. Of course, that has a lot to do with your risk management, your risk approach, your mental ability to um, um, exceed the market's devastating emotional tactics. Okay. Um, so that's uh, said and done, I recommend starting with at least 250 minimum for advanced traders. Uh, anywhere from 250 to 1,000 will get you uh, good and ready to take on this 60-day challenge. All right. Now, of course, you see the total profit upon completion of this chart is the exact same no matter the initial balance. So, again, it doesn't matter what you start with. It's just going to re determine whether the journey is going to be a little tougher on the emotional strain and risk management or it's gonna be easier, one or the other, okay? So it does not matter what you start with, the end goal is the same if you follow this chart, okay? The only thing you can edit here is the initial balance and the actual PIP, actual, okay? Over here on the right in the actual spreadsheet column, the PIP actual measures the actual PIPs obtained for that particular day or that particular trade. It's stated as 60 days, but it also can be looked upon as 60 trades, okay? Each lot size for the first 30 days or the first 30 trades is a 20 lot, okay? That's either, uh, if you do this per day, that is maximum 20 lots traded uh, for a target of 50 pips or 500 micro points. Okay, and over here to the right in the PIP actual column, you would just simply record how many PIPs you got in equivalence to the 20 lot. So say you did one 20 lot, you got 60 PIPs. Of course, that's 600 micros, that's 60 PIPs. So that is, of course, 120 profit. Now, the first 20 days, however you equate it, it's, uh, your target goal is $100 for the first 30 days. First 30 days, first 30 trades, $100, that's a goal of 3000 so whatever you started with at the end of the first 30 days, you should have an additional $3,000 in your account. All right. So if I went ahead and I say I hit the goal dead on the money every day for the first 30 days. As you see, that's $3,000. Okay. Now I have uh, an account with $3,000 in it, or 4,000, because I and this initial balance is 1,000. Now see how if I go to, say, started with this with 500, my balance is 3,500. No matter what you start with, the first 30 days is $3,000 flat. Don't look for any more, don't expect any less. This is following the plan, stick to the T, trust the process. Now watch what happens on the next 30 days after that. Same, uh, nothing changes other than the risk management, okay? At this point, you have a balance of now 3,500 rather than the initial balance of 500, okay? You have grown $3,000 in profit. That is um, six times your reward or six times your investment, okay? You've already made six times what your investment is in the first 30 days. So for the next 30 days, of course, same PIP actual. Say I did the same dead on the money every day, uh, 500, uh, 50 pips. That's it, 50 pips, okay? Now, at the end of that, the first 15 days of the next 30 is a dollar lot, okay? A dollar lot, same pip target, 500, uh, 50 pips, 500 micro points, okay? For the first 15 days, okay? All the way up until day 45. 
Now my balance is $10,900, okay? That's an additional $7,500, all right? And that's just another 15 days. Now watch what happens on the next 15 days, the last 15 days of the 60-day stretch. Now you're doing the same PIP target at now $2 standard lot. Now your account is at $25,000. You've completed the 60-day stretch, and you have used the same risk throughout the trades throughout the whole completion of the trades. Again, that is 60 trades or 60 days. All equivalent, stick to the plan, follow the script. And this is the equivalent no matter what you start with. Of course, the initial balance, as I stated at the beginning, is going to determine how rocky your journey is. All you need is 50 pips, stick to the script. Every 60 days, you'll be able to produce $25,000.